is up, peeps? Today, um, I'm gonna go on a little uh, road trip. As y'all know, I love driving so much. Um, so it's a town called Laia or Leia, whatever the hell they call that. But um, it's got some nice beaches there and uh, um, nice places to get lost. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get lost and we'll see how you enjoy it, okay? So um, as you can see, I'm near the gas station. Lots of shops here. And the highway's right there. So uh, anyway, just join me. And then, because uh, I do this about once a week, I go on a little outing. And um, ideally, I, uh, here I go again, I'm making a speech impediment. Um, ideally, I like to do this with uh, another car, like uh, the Bustang, which is uh, kind of busted right now, and the Orient Express. The Orient Express is down. She suffered an axle failure uh, getting that big ass engine. So we have to let that thing sit. So I got my uh, other car today. And um, so we're gonna enjoy it otherwise, you know. Other than that, we're gonna enjoy the, uh, the, uh, the beach anyway, and I'll show you how it is out there. How beautiful it is. The, the beach has these round pebbles. It's kind of unique. Most beaches have sand, right? This place has those um, round pebbles and stuff. They're like really, really cool. It feels good in your feet too. All right? So join me and then uh, let's go get lost today. There's something I just saw while I was pulling out of the gas station. It uh, looks like some vintage cars or classic cars. Hold on a minute, let's check it out. Over here we see what looks to be a 1949 Mercedes, I believe. It's uh, in original condition and a speedster. It looks like 1956, something like that. So I'm not sure who owns it, but it's not in very good shape. So. Anyway, I'm not gonna get out because I'm on my way out. So there you go, guys. Pretty cool, right? Taking the next left towards South Luzon Expressway. Hey, this might come out as total madness. Just wait I really need to tell you something Cause I feel alone in a room Surrounded by people I wanna know If you're feeling it too loud On the roof, here with you It all seems so distant With you, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm just lights right next to quadriplegic person that I just saw on the side of the road. We're gonna make his day today. Um, seems like nobody wants to help him and we're gonna give him this, okay? Because I give a damn. So we're gonna give him a thousand pesos today. It's gonna make his day. That's a lot of money in the Philippines, you know? So follow me, I'm gonna step out of the car here in a minute. I'm gonna give this guy a thousand pesos 
you know. I'm not trolling, I'm just a generous person and we're gonna go take care of him, okay? And it seems like everybody's staring at me and they, they don't know what I'm doing. Go, dude, go. So, I can't get out of, there's a lot of traffic here, so. I'm gonna go without. Okay, now I'm gonna get out, here we go. Hey. Hi, Koya. Sa tulong sa inyo, okay? Hi. How are you? How are you doing? Tulong. Hindi ko rin hindi lang. Oh, okay. No problem. Yeah. So, uh, I hope um, my tulong sa inyo and uh, God bless you. Okay? okay. Take care. Huh? All right, so if you do one act of kindness in this world, that'll make a big difference in people's lives, okay? And uh, do it out of the kindness of your own heart. And don't be a greedy person and don't be a mean person. You feel me? Okay. A random act of kindness makes a happy person. And uh, it's also good for your heart and it changes people's lives and you can actually make a difference in somebody's life too so you don't necessarily have to give money away you know but any kind of random act of kindness and let me emphasize the word kindness is a good thing it makes you sleep better at night makes you a happier person and man i'm telling you that was worth every penny of a thousand pesos. That was worth it. That was just the way I feel right now. Helping someone in need is just the coolest thing. If everybody in the world could do one thing like that, we would live in a better world right now. Because there's a lot of people in this world. So you can imagine seven billion random acts of kindness, what the world would be like. Just think about that. As you can see, it's raining. GPS signal lost. But it's okay. I'm gonna have lunch now on the side of the road. Other than that, it's a beautiful day for a rainstorm. Yep. And I packed my lunch today, and it's right here. Everything is there that I need. Always have a Coke when you have your lunch, especially when you're eating, you know, stuff around here. So y'all want to know what's on the menu today? Y'all know what this is? Take a closer look. GPS signal lost. That's Pinak bit, people. Y'all know what Pinak bit is? Yeah. It's uh, some, what do they call that? Elocano Filipino food. It's pretty good though, with a fish. See that? That's why you need Coke, because you don't want that taste in your mouth when you're eating it. It's gross. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy it. You know, face it, YouTube is pretty hard. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it, right? So, uh, for those health conscious people, you should eat a lot of fish every day. It's good for your body. It's good for your soul too, and your spirit. It's also healthy as hell, right? And also eat lots of veggies, and uh, you know, this Filipino food stuff is, uh, is full of it, you know what I'm saying? Well, that uh, concludes my uh, lunch for today. It was uh, pretty damn good. Uh, let me, a short story about Filipino food. It looks like shit, but tastes really, really good. The taste is, uh, I'm for show sure world class, okay? That's some really good stuff. But the looks of it, you know, depends on what region you're in, you know? Actually, there's, there's uh, there's Tagalog food, and there's Elocano food, and there's uh, Messiah food, and there's like, uh, what's the other stuff? Um, 
Cebuano food, all kinds of regions of the Philippines and stuff, you know, so. But, um, you know, it's all good. You know, I've ate all of it. Even those live worms out in the middle of uh, Palawan, Palawan, wherever they are. Just, just dip it in soy sauce and stick it in your, you know, your mouth. That's about it. So anyway, we'll continue this uh, tour of uh, some place but I've, that I've never been to before. So, uh, all right, here we go. If it wasn't for this rain, it would be a lot better, but uh, I want to show you this bridge that I just ran into. This is pretty damn cool. You see that? I don't know what this place is called, but uh, it's pretty awesome, man. So anyway, next stop, fellas. You know one of my favorite kind of drives is these mountainous ones that have winding roads. It's just so cool. And uh, real scenic too, so this is one of my favorite. And the ones that are by the sea. So this road is also adjacent to the ocean. So I'm gonna show you that here in a minute, even though it's raining and we got like the freaking ugliest day ever while I'm trying to do this crap. But it's cool though. And uh, the road, oh my God, the road has disappeared. So we're gonna have to go this way. Disappearing road, people. I knew this was gonna happen, but I didn't know it was gonna happen so soon. But that's cool. So, the disappearing road. Where do we go? Oh crap, they just cut the road up. Oh, what's that? <laughs> I don't think the road continues now. Jesus. Head south toward Lobo, Malabrigo, Leia Road. Then turn right onto Lobo, Malabrigo, Leia Road. I think they cut this road off. I think they cut the road off. Let's go. Cool. Okay, I just came from back there. Hold on to me. It's actually missing a road. So I'm going, I did a detour, now we're going straight that way in the mountains so I can get a better view, okay? Okay, as you can see right in front of me is the ocean. I get a better view of this. I picked the worst day to come out, but it's okay. Because uh, I've been looking for this place for a long time and I haven't yet to find it until today, so it's cool. And there it is. This is called, uh... How do you even pronounce that shit? Anyway. Let's go outside and check this out. So, uh, anyway, what a... What a beautiful view, huh? Beautiful view from here. I wish it was sunny today, it would have looked great. But let me tell you what the let me show you what the back looks like. Uh, and there's the mountains. It's pretty cool here. You can see that's the sea. It's a beautiful view. There's no what do they call that? No cement roads here, I think. It's basically incomplete, and it said that also on my map, so, um, but it's cool. Can you guys pronounce that? I don't even know what to say about that. Cyclists are out. They acknowledge me, but they don't know folks. who I am. Have you all ever seen Smoky Mountains in the Philippines? Check that out. Let's get a let's get a better view of that. It's literally smoking on the mountains. You see that? There's literally clouds in the mountains. That's freaking awesome. Love it. 
That's why I love traveling. That's why I love traveling in cars, especially. Guys, I just literally came from up there where that bear spot on the mountain is. And we are in San Juan, Itos, whatever the hell that says. And trying to figure out how to get down there. Okay, I guess I gotta go this way. Avoid the construction over here. So that's cool. God, what a pretty cool place, man. I wish it was sunny, but it's not. All right, let's go see what that has in store for us. Do I gotta go uphill? Oh, thank God. I thought I had to go way up there. That would suck. Look at this scene, guys. Oops, wrong way. It's literally a cloud in the mountain. Up there, that's where I'm going. Man, I love road trips. So it looks like a lot of fun, huh? All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm out in the middle of the woods. It's looking good. And that's the road I'm going. I love these windy roads like this because you can take a nice car that handles good and just practically enjoy yourself. You have to, you have to look both ways before you cross the street so you don't get hit, okay? So you have to be careful. And there's the ocean. The ocean is right over there. The Smoky Mountains are over here. You see, you can see the clouds. <laughs> in a minute, I'm going to be right in the middle of that, so it's going to it's going to get dark soon. So, other than that, that's cool. That's the road that I came up on. Man, I got to get a, I got to get my muscle cars up here. This has got to be something loud and something fast. Do y'all agree? Next time I come here, I'm going to make sure it's sunny, and I got to bring my fast cars here. All I gotta say is this is some epic view, y'all agree? It's epic. And I'll show you guys what the bridge looks like. See, so we're gonna walk over here. It's raining now, folks, all over me. Wow, just look at that. Let's check that out. Can y'all hear that water? That's just beautiful. Nature is something else. For those people that don't get out enough, you all need to get out. And for this reason right here. Just look at that. I hope my thing don't short out. See that waterfall? Yep. Beautiful, man. So here I am off-roading in a car. You believe that? I should have brought the 4x4 today, but that's okay. This is a rule of thumb, guys. If you're gonna go off-road, do not bring a car. But uh, this, this little thing is uh, pretty durable, so it's okay. Oh, here's the ocean, by the way. I wish I had a better view, but the thing is focusing on the raindrops and not focusing on the water. But it's cool. Oh, this is such a beautiful place. Damn! What a view. Love it. You gotta be careful of the uh, rock slides around here. So if I was on the right-hand lane, as you can see, it's uh, not good. It's all rock slides right there. Plus you can't see around the corner what's coming at you and I'm sitting here vlogging <laughs> like an idiot. But you see all the rocks? Yeah, and up ahead, up ahead, you can see more rock slides right there. And by the way, here's the ocean. Let's uh, get a better shot at that. Oops. So, you can imagine how hard it is to vlog, shift gears, hold the steering wheel, and uh, watch for rocks at the same time coming down while showing you guys the ocean. So, it's pretty cool. I think they got. Oh, I don't think the road's closed. Go. This is what happens when you have a landslide, as you can see. Yeah. 
Well guys, that uh, concludes our trip for today. As you can see, what a beautiful view. I would have had a better view had there been no rain, but it's okay. So, what happened was, I got stopped at the uh, local government unit checkpoint and they said I could not continue, so. But anyway, you basically got the idea. We had a nice ride and um, I thought I was gonna go further, but uh, next time we have to do this with a different car, a better car, and with no restrictions. Okay, so um, if you liked the video that you saw, just uh, smash that, you know what, like, share, and subscribe, and then, um, you know, we'll show you some more videos and take you to some more places with a different car. And uh, depending on the terrain that we're gonna run into uh, is the car that we take. It's gonna be either a 4x4, high-performance sports car, muscle car, something big and luxurious. It's up to me, it's up to you, and it's up to you guys to tell us what you all would like to, you know, like us to ride or drive, okay? So y'all take care and uh, BBG out. story about Filipino food. It looks like shit, but tastes really, really good. Ideally, I... Uh, here I go. Face it, YouTube is pretty hard. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it, right? I can't even pronounce that shit. <laughs>